That's uh, doing the thing. Hold on, get the clap block. Ah. See, that's why you can't put that on the floor. So today, we have a bunch of computer parts. And these are all the computer parts that we're gonna use to build our uh, 3M Novec immersion-cooled computer. So we're gonna take what we got, put it all together, make sure it all works, and see how hot it runs while it's all air-cooled. And then we're gonna take it apart, strip down all of the um, heat sinks and fans and everything, put it back together, and that way we can get the measurements that we need for our computer case. Kai, what do we got? Well, we got this Asus ROG Strix X470 motherboard. It's pretty cool. It's a AMD motherboard, sports MVME SSDs. We'll use that. But we're uh, getting rid of the shitty graphic design. Yeah, I hate the graphic design on all this gaming themed stuff. Yeah, it's gotta be fast. It's gotta look fast. <laughs> also, we're choosing all the smallest parts we can find in general. And for the power supply, we got this, I think it's a mini SFX power supply, which is pretty cool and small. I brought out a normal size ATX power supply just so you can kind of see the difference. And like half of that we can strip away, right? Yeah, it looks like looking through the fan shroud, we can take the, the fan out and then it's gonna be significantly shorter without it, so. But that's nothing nice. compared to the freaking Yes, the, gra graphics the graphics card we have here, which is the Sapphire Pulse Vega 56 card, which looks like a very large card, but this entire half of the heatsink, it doesn't have any PCB behind it, so if you flip it around, you can see the actual PCB for the card is pretty small, and once we disassemble it, that's all we're going to need, so that'll be pretty sweet. AMD Ryzen 2700X CPU and 32 gigabytes of Corsair RAM. Surprisingly, if you want fast RAM, it's kind of hard to find RAM that doesn't have a gigantic heatsink on it these days. So this is about the shortest one I could find. Is that a heatsink? That red part? Well, I guess it's called a heat spreader, but yeah. It's just a just a really flat heat sink. It's a piece of aluminum sheet metal that they just glued onto the chips. <laughs> but yeah, it's keeping it cool, man. I think they did it to make it look prettier, mostly. But, but can we remove that so that's coming off, or are we gonna leave it on there? It's glued on with well, I guess it's double sided taped on, but I don't want to risk damaging the RAM module. So makes sense. Leave it on. All right. And for storage, we have a PCI Express SSD. Oh, we'll skip over. We don't have it anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's dead now. Yeah, it's really small. Fits on the motherboard, so it won't take up any extra space in the computer. And they're really fast, so that's pretty sweet. All right, so now we're just going to assemble all these parts just to, like we were saying, make sure they work before we take them apart. Because at that point, I guess you could turn back, but it's more of a pain in the ass. <laughs> never seen anything like this. If you have a problem with us using zip ties to hold things together, then I unsubscribe right now. <laughs> As you can see, it's super effective. Yeah. I hear it's good to slam things down on your motherboard and processor. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> Let's uh, set up our advanced cooling system a little bit more here. Dust the old fan. Nice, nice. All right, she's totally set up now. It's a really sweet gaming rig. Now we gotta connect up a monitor 
and a keyboard to get Windows running. All right, so we have this system fully professionally assembled now to test out. Professionally zip tie assembled. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I agree. But let's uh, crank her on. This I don't actually have a power button for it either, so we're gonna have to short the jumpers. Let's see if I can find the right jumper here. Yep, found it. That'll do it. Should have Windows on this SSD already. So we'll see if it posts. Is this fan supposed to be going? Nah, there was a label on there. If it's not under enough load, it doesn't turn the fan on, so. Nice. Keeps it quieter, I guess. I was hoping it was just going to be broken, and I was going to be like, this is sick. Well, that's why we're testing it. Yeah, we're going to remove, well, we're going to take it apart anyway. We don't need that part. All right, after a very long period of time, it's uh, posted to this screen. Yeah, welcome to the Republic of Gamers, bro. We're now members of the Republic of Gamers. Yeah. New CPU installed, all right, whatever. How do I get out of here? <laughs> Perfect. This is a new angle for using computers. Yeah. So you have to use the mouse completely inverted. It's prime productivity. Yeah. You'd figure it out after a while. It's like flying a plane. All right. Looks like we're in Windows. All the memory's showing up. Graphics card, looks like it's showing up. How fast do you reckon this will get as hot as hell? Well, that heat sink is off of like a tiny slim form factor Dell PC, so real fast. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and not run Prime 95 on this. Everything just generally looks kind of hot, so you can kind of see a little bit of the voltage regulator down in there by the fan connector. Some sort of mysterious item down there. It's hot as hell. RAM's not very hot. You can see a little bit of reflection on the uh, this like heat sink bracket. Oh, you can see it on top of the heat sink also. But the uh, SSD controller gets really hot in this thing. I don't know if we can focus that a little bit better. Uh, yeah. This part's exposed aluminum and this part's a sticker, so you can kind of see the difference between the emissivity there. It's got all kinds of hot parts on it. I don't know. That's a hot computer. Once we submerge it in the fluid, then it'll kind of even all that out, which is one of the advantages. Yeah. I wonder if it will actually even things out. So, like, I wonder if... The certain parts will be will still show up as super hot compared to other parts or if the whole thing will be one even temperature because of the liquid it'll be fairly even but also unfortunately once we submerge it we can't use this true all right so now that we know that this hunk of junk works we're going to tear it to pieces
Wow, that graphics card is a lot smaller without the heatsink on it. Where is the heatsink? Oh yeah, it's right there. It's safe to say that thing was mostly heatsink. Yeah, I actually really like the design of this heatsink because it blows straight through, which just makes sense. But liquid cooling is more awesome, so we're getting rid of it. So now we know that our cavity needs to be about 12 inches by 9 inches, and we'll have a physical reference for when we're sourcing materials and when we are designing the model in CAD to be machined. So subscribe, like, leave a comment below. See you later.